That's hot. What is that? That's the hottest city in Massachusetts. Check out this video. Hey everyone, Matt Swerk here. You know I'm a local real estate expert right here in the state of Massachusetts with the Legacy Star Team powered by Keller Williams Realty. Now, welcome to our channel. We talk all kinds of things about Massachusetts, sometimes serious, sometimes silly, sometimes completely off the wall. Um, however, you have lots of questions about Massachusetts. We have lots of answers. You can reach out any way possible. We appreciate the support of the channel. Definitely click the subscribe button and hit the little light, the little bell. That way, every time we make a new video, you're gonna get notified. And I always ask, give us a thumbs up. We appreciate the encouragement. One thing you have to remember, that's two. One thing you have to remember when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back. All right, so today we're gonna cover one of the hottest cities in Massachusetts, Waltham. Um, this is a place that just has tons of food, tons of culture, centrally located you know, to, to the greater Boston area. There's so much to love about Waltham. Um, this holds a little place that's near and dear to my heart because my brother-in-law had lived there for years. Uh, we just helped him sell his uh, house. And I also have some connections. That, well, I used to own a direct sales company and we used to go door to door selling these coupon books. And one of the companies that we represented was called Watch City Brew Company. Uh, really, really cool restaurant and uh, we'll get into, well, I'll get into, what is Watch City, right? Like, what is this all about? So uh, Waltham was incorporated back in uh, 1783 and it was referred to as Watch City. Um, back in 1954, <clears throat> Waltham Watch Company had opened one of its, uh, or, well, had opened its factory in town and they were the first company to actually make watches on an assembly line. Uh, and they were very, very successful. They ended up closing back in 1957, but they had done over 35 million watches and other instruments before they had closed. Uh, so that's where the Watch City comes from. Um, of course, this brewer is called Watch City Brew Company. Unfortunately, I'm not taking responsibility. It wasn't because our company didn't promote them, but they didn't last. Um, there is a couple breweries there that, uh, I don't know if they've actually taken over that space. I'd have to look into it. Waltham is actually, or was actually home of the um, the Boston uh, Manufacturing Company. That was actually the first in integrated textile mill in the United States. Uh, so it's got lots and lots of history there. Um, uh, you know, we, we like to name drop. So we have uh, Franz Wright, who is a Pulitzer Prize pri Pulitzer Prize winner, say that 14 times fast. Um, uh, so he was from there. And then of course, our beloved Aerosmith, right? Uh, they actually had a, um, a studio in Waltham called The Warehouse. So that's pretty cool to have the roots there. Now, one of the things, that you, when people from the area know Waltham, they think of Moody Street. And this is very rare to find a, a street as, you know, in a city as cool as this. And they have some of the best food, drinks, and attractions in the area. Um, you know, people will drive out of Boston to come to Waltham, you know, just for that, that experience, that culture, those options. Uh, and Boston has a lot to offer. So stating that people drive out of Boston to Waltham, uh, you know, you, they gotta be doing something right. Uh, you know, it's funny because every once in a while when we do videos, Tyler's like, hey, can you highlight this for me? I'm like, yeah, what do you want, Tyler? Well, he wanted us to say one of his favorite restaurants is um, uh, Gustazo's, and he loves it because they have awesome Cuban food, authentic flavors, and of course, he, they have a great cocktail there that uh, Tyler has a drink here and there. Uh, that's it. So, And sometimes he'll, he'll highlight some of the coolest breweries uh, in the area. Another great thing about Waltham is gonna be the proximity to the city. So like, wow, like Boston is close to, to Waltham. <clears throat> another great city, Lowell, that's close to Waltham. Uh, Worcester, another great city, that's close to Waltham. So you get the point, Waltham is close uh, to a lot of things in Massachusetts itself. And as far as getting to New Hampshire or Rhode Island, pretty simple as well. So if you're looking to bounce around to different areas, Waltham is a great option for you. Uh, right off of 95, lots of industry there as far as work is concerned. I mean, they got it going on. So if you want a centrally located place, Waltham is a great option. Uh, they also have what we refer to as our T, uh, the officially known as the MBTA. Uh, so the T, which is our public transportation, which is our buses, our train system, our commuter trail, com compute, 
our commuter rail train system, uh, also our buses. What else? Our ferries. We have ferries that go from, uh, you know, that bring it from the South Shore up to, to Boston uh, Airport specifically. So that's pretty cool. So the MBTA, that's the structure. You hear us call it the T. Well, the T has, there's two commuter rail stops in Waltham. And it's actually the, the line that goes from um, North Station all the way out to Fitchburg. So you can actually get on at Brandeis, uh, but there's also Central Square that has a location as well. So really, really accessible, you know, depending on what you want to do. As far as accessibility, we always look at, you know, what's the walkability of the, of the city or town? Extremely, extremely walkable city. I mean, there's plenty of sidewalks, plenty of river trails, plenty of parks to enjoy. So if you like getting out and walking around, this is a great place to be. Um, as far as the population is concerned, you know, there's about 62,000 people that live in Waltham, so it's not a small place. Uh, public schools actually are rated fairly well. So we always go to niche.com just to look at school systems and they get a, a, a B for a rating. So it's pretty solid. Cost of living, you know, as far as rents and housing is concerned, average rent, you know, that we, that we pull out, you know, shows about $2,800 per month. Uh, but we don't know how accurate that is because we know people personally that are paying anywhere from $1,700 to $2,100 a month. But $2,800 is kind of the average that we had pulled. Uh, but of course, just like with the real estate market, you want to find a deal, you put your mind to it, you hold that image, it'll, it'll materialize for you. Whole nother conversation. Uh, but the average prices of homes, you know, it's about $771,000. That market has absolutely appreciated. There's been a lot of transformation. Like I said, my brother-in-law, just we just helped him sell his home and the amount that he got from when he purchased the house, I mean, it, what a great feeling to be able to help him go through there. Uh, he made an amazing investment. And what's really interesting, you know, Waltham has a lot of areas that are packed in and some of those postage stamped lots. And I'll tell you, they have knocked down some houses, put in these mini McMansions. Um, you know, it's it, it, you have some beautiful homes. There's still some older houses that you know need to be turned and redeveloped. Uh, but you know, there's a lot of activity going on in Waltham. So uh, you know, re real estate prices are a little bit high. However, you get great amenities and great location for that. Uh, with all the videos, I always like to identify a couple different things, uh, either that I know of personally or that I've found. Uh, so some of the personal things I love, um, you know, we, there's this amazing, and, and no one pays us for this, and we just, this is free advertising. Um, that's a, I should open that up. Uh, we're keeping this uh, organic and family friendly, <coughs> mostly family friendly. Um, so uh, Mulan, Mulan is a Chinese restaurant, very authentic, and I gotta tell you, their food is absolutely amazing. Uh, I'm a big fan, I'm a big spice fan, and they have this, um, I don't even know exactly what it is, my sister-in-law always helps me order it, but it's this like, this sea bass stew that is so spicy, and like the fish is just unbelievable. I'm kind of a fish snob. It's really funny because I love fish, but I love fish that doesn't taste like fish if that makes any sense. So there's a lot of things like mackerel or sardines and things of that nature. I'm like, ah, it's, it tastes like the ocean. I don't want that. And growing up in Quincy on the on the water, you know, not that we went fishing and pulled, you know, ate our catch out, uh, you know, for that night. Uh, even though Quincy was the flounder capital of the world, just have to slow that, uh, throw that in there. Uh, however, I'm a big fan of like haddock and cod and scrawd and swordfish and um, what's the pink fish, salmon. I'm a big fan of that. And so some of these other fishes that, that taste like the ocean, I don't like, which is kind of a funny thing, um, which a lot of the um, a lot of the Asian meals or dishes have, you know, more of a, uh, a fish flavor to it. And my kids love it. And I'm like, it tastes like fish. I don't want that. Weird thing, right? Um, also, you swordfish, you know it's been frozen, but you know, it kind of has a little weird smell and taste to it. But anyway, uh, my dad told me that one. So Mulan has great food. They got this great pork dish. I mean, you know, listen, if you go to Waltham, you want to go out to dinner, call me because I would love to go there. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll get some help and order off the menu. It's fantastic. I have not had a bad thing from there. Um, the other thing, and my brother-in-law used to live right around the corner from this place, uh, Peasy's Farm. Uh, you know, little farms, they have like a little, it's like a... I want to say farm stand. It's not a farm stand, but they have like this little, um, you know, kind of little shop that has local things that they sell. But their ice cream, oh my goodness, it is so good. There's a lot of great ice cream places in Waltham, but this one was so close to him that we would go all the time. Um, my daughter's a big fan of vanilla ice cream, which is kind of weird because we like to try all different things. But I got to tell you, their vanilla ice cream is unbelievable. Any of their ice cream is unbelievable. Uh, you know, and they sell big packages of it. So you can just go, you know, 
Don't go into emotional eating, but if you need to, grab a grab a quart or a pint of ice cream and just go go to town. Um, other places we like there, uh, Prospect Hill Park. This is a really cool place. Um, there's a lot of trails that you can get to. There's some really nice views. But what I found was amazing, and we just went there a couple months ago. Uh, our nieces, we have we have three nieces. Well, we have more than three nieces. However, my uh, with that part of the family, we have three nieces. I got four nieces. I got five nieces altogether and a nephew. Uh, they're spread out all over the place. Uh, however, our nieces just are they're twins. They just had a birthday party at Prospect Hill Park, and it was a really cool pavilion that they had. Uh, anyone that is familiar with Disney, they had this Encanto theme, which was fun. Uh, that was really interesting. However, what I thought was so cool is they had this gated area and they have like a merry-go-round and all these little, you know, kind of amusement rides. And it's absolutely free. Anyone can just go there. So it was really funny, like having people walk over and like look in, see where you buy tickets. And then uh, as we were leaving, people were like, are, are the amusement rides here? I'm like, I, you know, I feel like I know the place because I was there for two hours. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you walk down this path? Go past here, take a left, and you're going to find it. And they're like, how much is it? I'm like, oh my gosh, it's free. It's free. Of course it's free. Like, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, so Prospect Hill Park is cool. Um, then, you, you know, like I said, there's a lot of culture there, lots of museums. One of the places I think is really interesting interesting is the Charles River Museum of Industry and Innovation. Um, it's, you know, you want a cool place just as far as old cars and old things of tinkering, you know, it's a museum of innovation, right? And industry. So go check that out. That's a lot of fun. Um, I'm a museum guy. I can appreciate all things from fine arts to the weirdest things possible uh, just because my, my artistic ability is, I would say limited. Limited. I'm a stick person. Uh, I'm really good at stick figures. Uh, the other thing, you know, like we were talking about as far as culture, there's this great uh, art gallery there, the Waltham Mill Artists Association. Really nice place. You can just casually take your time, browse around, see what some of the art is. Um, and then Mighty Squirrel Breweries there as well. Uh, they're, they're making all kinds of great concoctions. So definitely, definitely, definitely have to check out Waltham. There's a reason why it's red hot. All right, so there we go. Just a couple of things, fast and furious about Waltham, Massachusetts. Yes, I was having fun with this one. I have fun with a lot of things. I think I started getting a little goofy, but that's okay. Um, you know, whether you're coming to rent here or if you're looking to, to buy or if you're just looking for different options, definitely reach out to us. You can get in touch with us in a plethora of ways. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, we have a lot of people that reach out, so sometimes things get lost in the shuffle and we get back to you as quick as we can. We always ask for a little bit of grace because we, you know, the we our channel's growing and we have more and more people reaching out. We love it. Uh, we love some of the comments, even though they can get a little crazy. We know we can get a little crazy, but we really appreciate the support. Um, so reach out to us with whatever way you find appropriate. The biggest thing you got to remember when it comes to Massachusetts, we've always got your back.